Hello, good morning. Thank you so much uh, for joining the webinar today. This is Sivadivaki from uh, Mass Mailer. Uh, today I'm going to talk about um, a topic um, which is very important on how to remove your IP address from uh, Microsoft's uh, blacklist. How do you actually know if your IP is blacklisted by Microsoft? Typically, you would receive like a, a bounce message whenever you're trying to send out emails uh, to those people uh, who are actually having their email hosted on uh, Microsoft uh, servers. Uh, so the message may look like this. And typically the error code is uh, 5.7.511, access denied. Uh, it'll say something like, access is denied, ban sending IP uh, to request removal from this list, please visit so-and-so. And, uh, you know, some more information, something on those lines. So if you receive such kind of emails or, um, you know, not email, typically it's just gonna be a, a soft bounce that you would receive. And you would be able to see that in mass mailer email status. And, you know, if you sense that uh, happening, then what you would have to do, you would have to just uh, go through the delisting process and uh, take care of it. But, you know, again, before that, uh, before actually getting into how to remove the blacklist, uh, so uh, let's take a look why Microsoft is actually blocking your email. There could be several reasons. Um, you know, mainly it is all uh, going to, um, It'll boil down to uh, the best practices that you follow and the kind of uh, email sending behavior that you have to change. Otherwise, um, your IP will not be removed from the blacklist. So you have to follow certain guidelines, even after removing the blacklist or uh, requesting to remove your IP from the blacklist, they would still basically trying, they're gonna monitor you, meaning Microsoft is still gonna monitor uh, your usage and the behavior and um, you know various aspects of uh, the monitoring results and stuff like that and make a decision. So uh, so these are some of the reasons why it would block. Uh, maybe you're sending large emails of volume. Um, again, if you're sending large emails of volume, there are several ways to mitigate that risk. You can uh, have multiple domains and multiple IP addresses and then try to reduce the load on each domain and IP. That could be a potential solution there. And maybe you're changing the sending behavior all of a sudden. You're sending like too many emails all of a sudden. That could be another reason. Maybe you're sending to spam trap email addresses, which is very dangerous. So spam trap email addresses for sure. Uh, you do not want to send any to, anything to them. Uh, otherwise, you will uh, have uh, potential serious issues like uh, you know getting your IP and the domain uh, blacklisted. Uh, how do you identify spam trap email addresses? We do have a service called Mass Mailer Email Monitor. You could actually use that and identify any spam trap email addresses. Maybe you're sending it to unknown people. Maybe your um, the domain or IP has been blacklisted by another reputed organization. That could be another reason. Maybe the user says Outlook or Microsoft, you know, servers um, have marked your email as spam. Uh, they'll have a direct information about that, and that would be a potential reason. Uh, maybe the IP is brand new, but you've not really warmed up and you just started sending uh, too many emails. That could be another reason. Or you don't have the proper DNS records to authenticate your domain and IP address. That would be a potential reason as well, um, meaning your authentication is failing because you have incorrect uh, DNS records. So, Various reasons why Microsoft um, may be blocking your email, and you have to uh, obviously analyze um, everything end to end and try to fix. Um, there are ways to uh, identify, and if you are not sure on what to do, uh, how to go about uh, with this, you can always uh, talk to our team. We can uh, guide you at a high level. And we also provide uh, professional services through experts uh, that we have who actually focus only on the deliverability. You can always um, uh, get a paid uh, support as well. And uh, how do you authenticate? Again, a uh, few things that we do initially when we 
onboard any custom on mass mailer, we make sure that you have the right uh, DKM, SPF, and DMARC records. Uh, we provide those DNS values uh, to you, which you could uh, add it to your server and uh, make sure those are valid and uh, validate them. Uh, so basically, you have to have a proper DNS values and proper authentication of your IP <clears throat> in the domain before you even you actually get started with emailing. Uh, so that's very important. You have to follow the best practices. You know, it's um, very important to make sure that every server that you're trying to uh, send emails to, you know, nowadays uh, there are ISPs uh, such as Microsoft or Yahoo, AOL, Gmail, and uh, many other ISPs out there. Uh, they have robust uh, security mechanism. Uh, they are monitoring every single domain and IP address uh, that's sending out emails to the servers, and they're tracking everything. And you know, obviously, if you're not following the best practices or guidelines provided by uh, any one of those ISPs, such as Microsoft, uh, they're gonna have uh, a blacklist on your domain and IP. And they have provided certain tools. Microsoft, uh, they have a smart network data service that would. Um, actually monitor the deliverability of your uh, uh, domain. Uh, so you could actually sign up um, by going through this link. Even if you Google Microsoft Smart Network Data Service, you would find this link. You just have to go sign up. And that will actually uh, give you analysis on uh, the domain and IP reputation. Uh, that is another way to actually constantly monitor and you have to do it only on Microsoft's uh, uh, website as I uh, provided this link. And again, you can Google and find the correct link and try to uh, you know, basically register yourself for a smart network data service by Microsoft. And there are a few other um, programs such as uh, Outlook uh, Postmaster and Junk Email Reporting Program as well. Uh, you would want to just Google and then find the right link. Uh, again, the link is uh, the correct link, of course, what is being provided here. Uh, if it is tough to really type in, uh, just Google, it'll find the link and just click on it. Uh, so you would want to sign up uh, for these tools as well. And you know that will really help you um, understand uh, Microsoft's uh, best practice and guidelines that they provide and some of the tools through which you can actually monitor your reputation from Microsoft's uh, perspective. And how do you actually remove any kind of a blacklist by um, Microsoft? Uh, so again, you just have to follow. So this is the link that you would go to sender.office.com. Uh, that is Microsoft's um, uh, portal where in which you could uh, follow the instructions on the page uh, to remove the IP address. You will have to validate or verify your uh, domain email address. Uh, you could only send, I mean, you could actually enter only one email address in the IP address uh, per visit uh, for this particular removal, removal request. So once you enter that, you would actually receive an email. Uh, you would have to again uh, authenticate and you know click on that confirmation link. Uh, that will basically take you to that portal. Um, and then once you go to that portal, just click on the delist IP, uh, that will actually delist. And the email that you receive will look like this um, from uh, Office 365. So basically, just click on that link that will take you to uh, the portal in which you would actually go click on that uh, delist IP uh, because you already entered the IP address in the initial step. Uh, and then that would actually uh, send a message to Microsoft City uh, team. And they would analyze, and uh, you know, obviously, they're going to uh, look at uh, uh, while you're requesting the removal and make sure that you're um, you know authenticated uh, a person who requested for this because you know you would have validated uh, yourself uh, by clicking on the link that they sent to you. Uh, and uh, of course, they're going to check uh, a few other things and then they would uh, approve it. Um, again, it's very important even after delisting your IP address, make sure that uh, you're following the best practices. Otherwise, again, your IP may get uh, blacklisted. So uh, bottom line, don't send a spam. That's, uh, that's the most important thing. Uh, so follow the best practices. Be uh, very 
are capable and um, you know understand the best practices uh, in the email deliverability in general and uh, don't spend uh, spam emails and you should be good to go and um, that's it that's how you basically uh, delist your IP address from uh, Microsoft's uh, blacklist uh, it's not anything complicated you just have to follow the steps and take care of it uh, again you will have to constantly constantly monitor your reputation of uh, your IP in the domain that's very important as well any questions you have, uh, feel free to contact us or contact me. Here is our contact information. And um, you know, if you're new to Mass Mailer, uh, get on our trial. We can help you with the trial as well. And this is a weekly webinar that we schedule every Thursday at 6 a.m. Um, Hawaii time. I'm happy to clarify any questions uh, that you may have right now as well. It seems like uh, no questions. Again, uh, feel free to contact us uh, if you need any further information or help. Uh, we can certainly help. And here is our YouTube channel on um, you know, YouTube. Just go and type in Mass Miller. You will find uh, our YouTube channel. Just uh, go subscribe to it. There are tons of videos. And you could uh, actually also set up uh, alerts whenever there's any new video that we upload. Uh, you will be notified and we produce these videos every week so that's uh, kind of useful information as well uh, once again thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today we look forward to working with you uh, once again um, have a great day have a great evening have a good night thank you bye-bye